Okay. All right. We basically have two cores, or two coils, excuse me. Uh, the outer core coil is the uh, primary coil, and you're going to induce a current in this secondary coil. It's going to be about 20, 20 times smaller than the initial field coil. This is called the field coil. This is called the pickup coil. And we have a set of wires here across a resistor that's about a 10K resistor, basically to, keep, to help keep the signal from having too much interference on it. So to clean it up a little bit. We also clean it up by putting on here going to here and setting it to average. So it averages over, in this case, four sweeps to clean up the signal a little bit more. The field coil has a sawtooth a triangle, uh, that's a sawtooth function, I guess. It's a triangular wave. Triangular wave. And, of course, the derivative of that is a square wave, which we get on the pickup coil. We come... Let's see, so... So this... The pickup coil... pickup coil is the bottom, so it's channel 2. It's hooked up to channel 2. Right. And the field coil is hooked up to channel 1, and that's over here across the 1.5K resistor. And here it's important that the 1.5K resistor... The positive is. side should be the red side of the connector, and the negative side should be go back to ground on the amplifier. If you have it backwards, the gra it grounds the signal and you get nothing on the output. Mm -hmm. Our amplifier also has a little adapter right here uh, which is connected to a power supply. A little 12 volt regulated power supply. power supply. And then our signal is actually hooked up over here from this analog box which is connected to this computer with our settings uh, using the Faraday frequency generator generator.